with his whole big chunk straight on. That is what you're going for. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode. Oh, take a look at this place. It's absolute paradise. So we've just touched down. Don't ask about the rubber glove. <laughs> I've got a cut on my finger, we're trying to keep it waterproof. But the plan is guys, so today we're heading out with a mate who's got a boat. He's going to show us around the area and in a few days time he's going to drop us on one of these little deserted islands. Are you excited for that friend? Very. Yeah. So he's going to drop us out there for about 10 days or so. It's going to be awesome but let's get straight into the action today. It's time to put the boat in. Let's get into it. Phew. So we're heading out with our mate Levi today and he's given us the heads up that everyone on the island relies on fresh fish as their main source of protein. But due to some rough weather lately, people haven't been able to get out. So we've been given the green light to catch a few more fish than normal to bring back and share amongst everyone. Spearfishing is the most selective and sustainable way to bring home a feed of fish. On the top of the wish list today is coral trout, my favorite eating fish in the entire world. Amazing, eh? Probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. We're about to um, jump in and have a bit of a spear here. So this morning we had a quick swim, got a couple of nice trout for dinner. And then now we're gonna do a drift down here and see if we can see anything bigger. With a couple of tasty fish in the esky, we head out to some deeper water to explore the drop-offs. Let's get in there. This drop off we're drifting along plummets down vertically into the abyss and this is where the larger fish like hanging out. We're drifting along with the flasher in the water in hope to attract and bring the fish in closer to us and we're taking turns diving up and down. We spot the unmistakable white dot of a dog tooth tuna down in the depths. These are really nice fish. But there's a saying that if one day you want to shoot a 50 kilo doggy, you've got to let 20 kilo ones swim by. So we keep drifting the drop off, hoping for that monster doggy to come up out of the depths. That's doggy. <laughs> These black trevallies make great ceviche. So we opt to take one home for the dinner table. but the sharks also agree that they're delicious and are way too quick for us on this occasion. Now, we had been warned about the sharks here being really eager to take any fish, but we've been fortunate enough to swim with these exact species of sharks in a number of places around the world. So, 
I'll have to admit initially we're pretty skeptical that the same species of grey reef shark that we're so familiar with would act any differently but we'd quickly come to realize that they're wired a little differently here. Landing a fish past them is going to be one hell of a challenge. On the way home, we had a quick troll and caught a beautiful yellow oh. fin tuna. Oh, Fishy! <laughs> well done. Thank you, bro. Yeah, oh, nice. Well, well. That's awesome. Good catch, man. We've got a delicious cook up coming up with this later in the episode, guys, so stick around for that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> done. <laughs> It's not deep at all. Did you have a good day? Had a great day. Sorry, doctor. Wasn't meant to get this wet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so warm. Yeah, I just did a wee. <laughs> no, you didn't. It's a beautiful day in <laughs> So good, huh? Yeah. How was your day, friend? Did you have a good day? Yeah, I had an awesome day. Yeah. Cool. So we did, I guess what we set out to do today was catch a feed because the sh yeah, there's bugger all shops around here. So we had to spear some fish. We speared some nice trout, saw some dog tooth tuna. And then tomorrow we're going to do it all again, but we're heading further afield uh, to some spots. We're hoping there's some really large pelagic fish. So of course, uh, we'll take you guys along for the ride. What you got? I got. The surgeon fish that you spear. Yeah. This barb is so sharp. Watch that one there, eh? Yeah. You guys should watch the episode of Aaron getting sliced up. Yeah, it got him, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyway, we try and cook it tonight. They say it's pretty nice. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to do for dinner, friend? Yeah, so shimmy yellow bean and steaks. Nice. And, steaks. and then trout for lunch or tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, now the rewarding part of this whole setup is we get to actually eat some of that prize catch we got today. Uh, we don't have too long, so this is going to be a bit of a rapid fire cook up. But we've got the Back to Basics Beach Kitchen. We're going to do that yellow fin pan seared on a campfire. Uh, there's a few weird ingredients that go into this, but it's quickly becoming my favorite recipe. So let's get straight into it. First step, let's make a fire. enough. Alright, we're going to get this fire pretty excited and pretty hot to start with. And then I'll let it uh, burn down and get a good coal base going. We can start preparing our tuna in just a sec. The yellowfin tuna has got to be one of the most sought after fish all around the world and uh, there's a lot of better chefs out there probably watching that uh, do a fantastic job at cooking it, but I'm gonna share with you a bit of a recipe I've got going here. 
Basically the procedure is we're going to make a marinade here to get the fish nice and sticky and then we're going to put it um, in a crusting that we're going to cook it in. To make the marinade it's just a, a bit of this and a bit, a bit of that. We've got a little bit of fish sauce, pure sesame oil, we've got some honey, And a little bit of soy sauce. We're gonna mix that all up. Now time for our crusting. We've got poppy seeds. So the other things that work really well for the crusting are sesame seeds. I just didn't have any on hand. Um, but yeah, poppy seeds seem to do the job as well. Bit of sugar. About that much. And the, uh, the good thing with this recipe, this style of cooking is every time you do it, it's going to taste completely different. A bit of salt and pepper. It's probably a good time guys for you watching. Please let me know in the comments what your favourite ingredients are when you're doing this kind of setup. This is just some mixed herbs. Alright, next step. We've got some large chunks of tuna. Get them into the marinade and let them sit for a minute. Beautiful. The idea is to get this fish nice and sticky so that crusting mix all sticks to it. Let that soak for a sec. Good news is my fire is now nice and hot. We want this really hot. If you're cooking at home guys, max temperature. I'll just knock it down so the coals are ready to go. Alright, let's get our tuna nice and crusted. Just slop him on in there. That's what he's going to end up looking like, a pretty generous coating. Alright, put these whole big chunks straight on. That's it. Alright, the idea here is we don't want to cook it all the way through. We want it medium rare in the middle. So it's a bit of a guessing game, but 30 seconds to a minute on each side. Um, hopefully it will turn out alright. So let's split this one. Starting to smell pretty good. Alright, I think that is just about going to do it. So the, the guessing part of this is you want it medium rare without overdoing it. Um, we'll see how we went. Oh geez, it smells nice. It smells really, really good. See how we went. Going to chop a couple of limes. Bit of suspense here as I'm chopping through. Oh, I think we've got lucky, guys. That is what you're going for with a yellowfin tuna steak. Let's check this one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm very happy with that. The finishing touches would be a little soy sauce dipping bowl and a squeeze of lime over the top. All right, this is how I'm attacking it, Fran, look at that. You don't want soy sauce? Yes, sir. Nice? Every time it's a little different, eh? <laughs> I would have left it marinating a little bit longer. Mmm. That is so good. So good. It melts in your mouth, eh? Mm. That is delicious. I think it's my new favorite cook-up, I reckon. I'm sure that's what you're going for when you're cooking yellowfin tuna, that medium rare in the middle. That is just delicious. If there's any um, far more knowledgeable chefs watching, please let us know how we went. I'm sure you guys um, will, of course, let us know what I did wrong. But I wish you could taste it. It tastes absolutely delicious. All right, we're just going to wash that down with a nice juicy coconut. For you guys that are into this kind of tropical island lifestyle, um, you may enjoy the new channel Fran and I have put out called The Castaways. It's filmed in a bit of a different style. Thanks to everyone that's checked it out already. Hope you guys are enjoying it. So our first impressions of this place are that it is one of the most spectacular places we have ever seen. I mean, everywhere you look, it's like we're literally living in a postcard. Come down to the beach to catch sunset and there's all these little black tip reef sharks swimming in the shallows so we're going to see if they're hungry. Oh, look at these sharks! Look at these sharks! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
almost got him. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, ready? The adventure here is just getting started guys, so subscribe to the channel. Also, if you do want any of the B2B gear that we use in the episodes, like the bags, the shirts, the fishing or diving gear, jump onto our website, b2badventures.com.au. Thanks for the support guys, and we'll see you on the next one.